Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over reverse mirror dip coating using the OBD11 software on our Mark 7 GTI. Okay, so once we have our OBD11 all hooked up, if you're not familiar with the process of doing so, we have a video explaining all of that, which we will link to uh, here where you can check that out. But uh, we're going to go into my car and then go into the app section here. Now, once we go into the app section, the mirror dip is all the way at the very bottom. And if you take a look, we can just hit that real quick. Now, they have some explanations at the bottom uh, in the description of the mirror dip that will offer you some information in regards to potential outcomes. Um, every car apparently seems to be different or have a few variables based on equipment. Uh, I don't have any details specifically about that, but I can tell you what has seemed to work for us with this vehicle. Um, and so what we're going to do is go ahead and go to change the value, select on, and then you hit the check mark to use your credits for the mirror dip. It will then say success. Okay, now that we have our app coded, we're actually going to go into our infotainment unit. We're going to go to car, and then we're going to press setup. Now, once we go into our mirrors and wipers here, you're going to see two new options here for the mirrors. Lowering and reverse uh, is one of them. So you're going to check that box. Ours is already checked. So all you would do is check that box and you can go back. Now we've performed our coding and we've activated our reverse mirror dip in the infotainment unit. We can actually set it up in the vehicle. So what you're going to need to do, start by turning the mirror switch to the R position. So we're going to do that now. And then you can put the vehicle in reverse. Now also keep in mind, if uh, you should not have the car running when you're doing this, just ignition on. Obviously you don't wanna make sure you don't hit anything uh, and having the engine running could put you in that position. So just key on and we're gonna put our vehicle into reverse. Now at this point, you actually should see your mirror dip down in reverse. Um, and then you're going to set that in place. So when you set your mirrors, now you can go turn it back and your mirror is going to come back up. Now, it may set back to a weird place, at which point you're going to take the vehicle out of reverse, uh, put it into neutral for us, or park if you have an automatic vehicle, and then you can put it back to the R, and you can set your mirror back in the appropriate place once you're in the park position. Now we have completed our reverse mirror dip coating and installation. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.